Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels. In my last two videos, I showed you how you can start creating your sales funnel either from scratch or using a template. Uh, in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of the drag and drop canvas and all the options you have in that page. All right, so let's get started. Now, as you can see, I am on the overview page of WP Funnels, and these are the two uh, funnels that I created in the last two videos. Now, to explain the drag and drop canvas, I'm gonna create a brand new uh, funnel from scratch and show you the options on the drag and drop canvas, okay? So let me click on add new funnel and let me click on start from scratch. So let me just name it drag and drop, okay? So once I click on create funnel, as you know, this is gonna take me to a blank canvas and there you go so this is the drag and drop canvas so i'm gonna just gonna explain all the features you have in this canvas first of all uh, on the left side you have the options to either add steps add a condition or add integration now obviously you already know how to add steps from the last video but i'm going to show that to you again in this uh, the condition and integrations i'm going to explain in separate videos as they are special features you get all right uh, next comes the funnel name which is down the middle you can always change that by clicking on this button, changing it to anything you want and clicking on this button, all right? So if you don't want to apply the changes, just cross it out and that's how it's gonna stay, all right? Now on the right side, you have this buttons, all right? Uh, first of all, I'll start from the very right side. Now the three dots, this will give you some extra options, uh, such as the analytics, or if you want to change this funnel to draft, or do you want to delete this funnel okay now the analytics is uh, very interesting i'm going to show uh, the analytics in details in a separate video as well okay uh, in the bottom right corner you have the option to zoom in and zoom out the funnel well obviously now you won't see any difference uh, but i will be showing how that works when i add a step okay all right uh, now let me go ahead and add some steps to this page now uh, as I should let you know that when you create a sales funnel, the very first thing you should do is to make sure that it has all the three basic steps. Now, every sales funnel should have a landing, a checkout, and a thank you step. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add those steps to this one, all right? Let me click on add steps. And on the left side, you have the option to choose what step you're gonna add. So right now it's selected landing. I'm just gonna click on start creating from scratch and I'm gonna name it. There you go. And once I've done that, you can see the landing step is added. So let me just move it. Now let me just add another step, which is gonna be the checkout step. And there you go, the checkout step is added. And now I'm gonna add a thank you step. There you go. As you can see, the thank you step is also added. Now, obviously you have noticed that every time I added a step, I moved it uh, to a different position. So that's why we call this drag and drop canvas. You can actually move about all the steps of your funnel, however you want to organize your funnel visually, all right? So now the next thing to do is to connect this step in order. So I'm just gonna select the landing step. Once you select a step, it gives you uh, this border and also uh, you get some extra options, okay? Now once you select a step, uh, on the right side you'll see this arrow icon which you hover and see that the cursor is changing. So once the cursor is changed, just click and hold and then drop it onto the next step and the next step is connected. I'll do the same for the checkout and there you go. So now I have three steps and I can actually click and hold on the canvas and move the whole funnel at once. I can select one step and then move it on its own uh, and it doesn't affect how these are connected okay so that's how you can visually plan your funnel steps uh, obviously down the line i'll be showing you when you'll be using upsell and downsell steps for now i'm just going to keep it simple all right now for for these steps all right in the bottom right corner if you think these are too small you can click on this and increase the view this is going to zoom in uh, and if I want to make it smaller, I'm just going to zoom out and there you go. Okay. And if I want to reset it back to default, I'm just going to click on the cross and the zoom functions work just fine. Okay. So after you add the steps, the next thing to do is to add the default product to your funnel, which you can do by selecting the checkout step and clicking on the settings icon. If you click on that, it's going to give you some specific options 
for the checkout step such as adding the main product uh, signing an order bump offer and editing the uh, checkout fields all right now i'll be showing those things in details in other videos all right uh, for the landing you will not get any settings icon there uh, because in the landing you don't have to configure much uh, right here what you do is you can preview it here or you can edit it and it will take you to uh, elementor or gutenberg edit mode whichever pillar you have selected and there you can uh, customize the page design however you want okay for the checkout you do have the settings icon plus you have the preview and the edit option uh, because the checkout needs some extra details such as adding a default product that's how it has the settings icon but it also has the option to preview how the checkout page looks and you can edit it on your page builder to change the design for the thank you again you have some options if you click on this it will give you the option to choose what information you want to see for your order in the order page okay uh, you can choose not to show some part of the order if you want to okay uh, and uh, other than that uh, you can edit this and preview this and all of the uh, steps you add you can obviously click on the three dots to change the name on the slug all right uh, now once i have this once i add the product i'll add upsells and downsells but obviously one thing you need to keep in mind any changes you make here you have to save this funnel on the right side you'll see this button is now purple this is because i made some changes it has some unsaved changes so once i click on save this funnel will be saved and once it's saved you'll see this will turn back uh, to disabled all right so if there is any unsaved change in your funnel you will know that by looking into the save button and obviously when you try to uh, close this page we'll have a prompt to let you know that uh, you forgot to save your funnel so don't worry about that all right and just beside the save button you see there is this uh, icon uh, which is actually the preview icon once you're ready with your funnel you have some steps uh, added and you have designed it you can obviously see the funnel in action just by clicking on this one all right so that's just about it uh, for this video i hope you understood what options you have uh, in the drag and drop canvas uh, in the following videos, I'll continue with the tutorial on understanding the options and the features of the funnel and the steps you need to take to create the funnel successfully. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.